Praise God. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. I pray that you are having a blessed day. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Give him praise. Give him glory. Give him honor. I have, it's been a minute since I've been on here. Um, God had me on, a, I call it a three-hour tour. Y'all remember Gilligan Island? <laughs> but you would go places and, you know, actually you were stranded. But the irony is I, I wasn't stranded per se. God just really just took me and it, it, it was an incredible journey straight up. It was an incredible journey. Um, praise God, praise God. So I want to talk about the classes. I will not have a big class this time. I'm just telling y'all right now. So if you want to get in on the classes, they start Tuesday after Tuesday. Don't even try it. I'm not accepting anybody. Um, we, we want to get back to order. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I have a lot to talk about on here. We want to get back to order. I want to encourage you all. And I want to tell you what thus said the Lord. You know, it's so much going on. And I have to talk about the first thing. The first thing, there's a great falling away. My God, my God. People are falling away from God. You so busy loving God until you're not obeying God. You so busy loving God until you're not serving God. Because when you truly serve God, you know how to treat God's people. You don't act unruly. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. You don't act like you've lost your mind. I just said something, hallelujah. Because there's a consistency, that there's a loving, there's an obeying, no strain. Come on, somebody, hallelujah. I'm not saying you got to be perfect, but you got to walk in love. How can you say that you serve God and yet not do what he says? Come on, somebody. He said, if you love me, you keep my commandments. Now, I'm not saying you have to be perfect, but we have to draw nigh. He said, draw nigh to me and I'll draw nigh to you. That's real. Let me tell you something. That fake it, make it stuff, fake it till you make it, it's not working. It's not working because people see you. This is the year of exposure like never before, a hard exposure. You don't have to do anything. I've said this a thousand times before. You don't have to do anything for your enemies, anybody. They are exposing themselves. Come on, somebody. You, you don't have to plot. You don't have to plan. And I'm talking to you plants. It, there's a lot of plants. Oh, y'all don't know what I'm saying. Let, let, let me break that thing down. You will be betrayed by family and friends. For that money they paying they paying the people they paying them um actually this is what's happening they're really coming oh, i'm about to break this thing down we're in sodom and gomorrah and what's happening is if you are a righteous child of god if you are trying your best they are paying people let us know what they're doing let us know how they're doing it. and they're paying people to taint you oh i'm gonna say it women you looking for a husband you better make sure that's god that's why people getting killed. You better make sure it's God. Men, the same thing. Y'all just, they look good. They got a good credit score. And so and so know them. Uh-uh, uh-uh, uh-uh. What is God saying in this hour? What is God saying in every area of your life? It better be God in this hour. Or you're going to go through some things. And you can't blame nobody because we love to blame God when it don't happen the way we thought it would happen. Or the way that it should happen. Come on somebody, hallelujah. There's a great falling away, God says. He said that they love me, but they don't really commune with me. They love me, but they don't listen to me. They love me, but they don't serve me. They serve their flesh. Everybody after money. Everybody after prestige. Everybody want to be a great, you know, you want to have a great name. God says, I'll make your name great. But he never said that he would make you a star. Y'all ain't ready for me. Y'all ain't ready for me up here. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. We have to come back to serving God in righteousness. Not the way you think that you should. But God, what will I do? Come on, somebody. What you want me to do, God? Come on, somebody. How you want me to walk? How you want me to talk? How you want me to act? Come on, somebody. Where you want me to go? I don't go anywhere if God don't co-sign it. I don't care. And people be just watching. Just just be, look, look. I'm going to tell you what they do. They be just scrolling. Just looking, looking. What, what a Apostle Deanna doing? Don't worry about what I'm doing. I'm doing. I'm doing what God told me to do. What you doing? Oh, come on, somebody. Hallelujah. And all that jealousy in the body of Christ. Oh, I'm, I'm going. I'm off. I'm off on one. <sighs> the jealousy I see is crazy because if you do your assignment you don't have enough time to worry about the other person what they doing come on somebody hallelujah but everybody just scrolling just watching each other just watching well this is what they doing this is what they doing why don't you worry about what God told you to do 
Come on, somebody, hallelujah. Because truly, when you really serve God, you got so much stuff to do. You don't have time to look to the left or to the right. Come on, somebody. And then we're in the spirit and the time of where Lot was in Sodom and Gomorrah, and he was vexed in his spirit. Right now, the true men and women of God, you are vexed. You so tired of people lying, people crooking, people hooking, people doing all kind of stuff. That's because the righteous indignation, God says. He said, I put it in you because I want you to stand up in this hour like never before and tell people the truth. You are a liar before God. It's time for y'all to start telling people the truth in love. I didn't say be ugly. Come on, somebody, because it is not what you do, but it's how you do it. And it is so important that you do it in the grace of God. Come on, somebody, in the love of God. Hallelujah. Like never before. You got to do what God say to do. I'm going to tell you right now. I love the people of God. And I want y'all to hear me very clearly. Because I don't think people understand the spirit in which I do things. I truly love the people of God. But let it be known, this is kingdom business. If you're dirty, you're dirty. And I'm going to tell you, especially if God says, thus said the Lord, I'm not scared of you. I don't care about what you think about me. You can't put me in heaven or hell. So I don't care. So I'm very bold on purpose. Come on, somebody. I got to be because I'd rather serve God than serve your flesh. Worrying about if you like me or not. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. What am I saying? Most of you cannot operate in your gift and your calling because you're worrying about what people think. You're worrying about what they say. Let me tell you what I am learning. Who God will have favor you will favor you. Those that let them go. God bless you. Hallelujah. Walk with God. Talk with God. Obey God. Because let's say you die the day or tomorrow and you will die. All of us will. I just want to know, do you understand where you're going? And hold on. On judgment day, he's going to ask us all this question. Did you do my commandment did you do your assignment were you about your calling or did you worry about the naysayers or did you worry about this one or did you worry about family did you worry about friends you know when i really knew we was in trouble when that Popeye sandwich came out when i saw the masses just just eating it and just I, i'm just saying that's when i looked i say they really control the masses y'all know they do right everybody want to do the same thing don't you understand when you are authentically a child of God, you're going to hurt all direction. I tried that. I tried. I promise you I did. I wanted to be with everybody. And God was like, damn, you've been going that way. You're going that way. I said, uh oh, I'm in trouble. Because he said, wide is the gate. Destruction. So that means narrow is the gate that I'm going. Or oh, I'm going to meet some opposition. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. But let me tell you. He says that in the presence of your enemies, I'll bless you. I used to run away from enemies like, why they don't like me? God, I don't understand. Now I run straight into them. What? What we doing? How we doing it? Hallelujah. And ain't nobody trying to be more than they are. Ain't nobody trying to be this. I'm supposed to be bold. I'm supposed to be having courage. Joshua 1, they says, have I not commanded you to be of good courage? He said, and full of strength, full of power in this hour. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. The people of God then got minute and weak. You, you, if something happened, ooh, they heard me. The devil is alive. We don't run from. We run to. And ready. Stay ready. Stay ready. Stay prayed up. Staying with God. Fasting. Praying. Saying, God, use me. God, use me. God, use me. Hallelujah. Nobody scared of nobody. The apostles. I love the apostles. They turned this world upside down and knew they was going to die. Y'all scared to die. I see. That's why they're doing how they're doing. They ain't going to roll up on a real one. They ain't going to roll up on me like that. I'm going to tell you right now. Hallelujah. Because God has prepared you for such a time as this. Honey, yeah, they're going to get you, but not until your assignment is over with. That's why I'm, I'm not scared to go anywhere or say anything. Because guess what? I know I got a date with death. But until then, I'm going to turn it upside down. Hallelujah. And those that don't like me, God bless you. Keep on. I don't care. Because mm -hmm. I'm going to say what God said to say. Oh, hallelujah. Because God said, as long as you do my will, I'll be with you. As a matter of fact, this is what he said, and this is scripture. He said, I'll be a friend to your friend, and I'll be an enemy to your enemies. That's all I need to know. Hallelujah. 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 Don't be scared to be who God has called you to be. God has summoned you to be. He said, I prepared a way. He never said it was going to be easy. In fact, he says in 2 Peter, you shall have much tribulation. He said, oh, 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 you're going to go through it. Come on, somebody. Let me pray for you. You're going to go through it. He said, but I'll be with you. Hallelujah. I'll never leave you. I'll never forsake you. Hallelujah. Stand up in this hour, children of God. And you fakers. Ooh, it's a, it's a terrible thing to fall in the hand of the living God. See, when somebody do you something, just pray for them and keep on going. Because I promise you, the same person going to be looking for you. I'm not just saying this. It 
it'd be a couple of years sometime and somebody always call me or find me and say oh, this or apostle I shouldn't have did that and I always say I, I, God will cover his people and you can't stop God from covering his people because God say touch not my anointing and do my prophet no harm that's real that means everybody that's anointed I got you prophets I got you and notice he said mine ownership come on somebody so you worrying about people you ain't got to worry about people just do what God said to do and God said I'll cover you I'll keep you I'll bless you come on somebody he said but in this world you should have much tribulation I think that's the part that that throws everybody off because because I'm gonna be real with you the world teaches you if it's smooth then they didn't no 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 the devil is a lie because if the devil ain't messing with you then you are not anointed and appointed the devil is a lie if you just I'm just being real hallelujah them fakers, I mean, they smiling every day. But the real people of God, we go through. We be like, oh, Lord. Oh, Lord. Okay, okay. Give me strength, God. Give me strength. Give me power from on high. Do whatever you got to do. But j j just see me through it. Hallelujah. Just see me through it, God. Just see me through it, God. I go through a lot of warfare. I I've gotten used to it. I've gotten used to it. Because I realize this is my portion. Oh, come on, somebody. You cannot be highly anointed and not have warfare. The devil is alive. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm just being real with you. You're going to have to. And, and how you do it, Apostle? I got to get in that word. I got to I gotta separate myself. Let me tell y'all something. Because I'm talking to somebody that's pulling on me right now. Yes, this is a lonely walk. Yes, people going to talk about you. Yes, they're going to mock you. Yes, they're going to leave you. Even the people that's close to you. Ooh, come on, somebody. It, it, it's crazy. I, I just, I'm reminded how Jesus must have felt when the apostles left him. Because you're going to go through that. But honey, you just, God, God, just, just keep me, God. God, just strengthen me, God. As long as you don't leave me, I can do it. As long as you don't deceive me, I can do it. And he won't. Hallelujah. God will see you through that thing. Come on, somebody. But some of you, you got your eyes on people more than God. Come on, somebody. I just said something. And, and, and you get frustrated, God says. And you get angry. He says, be angry, but sin not. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. I'm trying to encourage you. I'm trying to strengthen you. Come on, somebody. Hallelujah. Because in this world, I'm going to say it again, you should have much tribulation. He said, but be ye understanding that I have overcome the world. And so can you, said the Lord. But you're going to have to do your part. You're going to have to fast. You're going to have to pray. You're going to have to be set apart because we were set apart on purpose. Most of you don't touch the unclean thing. Don't touch this world. I don't care. Even the Christians. Everybody that say, Lord, Lord, is scripture. It's not of God. Come on, somebody. Test the spirit by the spirit. That's why some of you are getting in things that you have no business in. I'm going to tell you right now, I test everybody. I don't care. Family, friends, whatever. And if you're dirty, get from around me. Because I'm going to tell you about yourself. You're going to get mad. Oh, ask anybody that have been. I'm something else. I don't even mean to be. It's just a God in me. I'll just look at you and say, what's up? What are we doing? I have done that to people. Trying to get close to me so you could hurt me. You must be crazy. You think God ain't going to wake me up at 3 o'clock and tell me who you are? <laughs> yeah, I see you do. Woo! Hallelujah. I feel the power of God up in here. And we're going to the next level. The remnant, I feel it. I feel it. I feel it. I feel revival. You guys, I'm not bragging. But when we was in that, um, when we had that conference, the 2020 conference, and them 50 people came to God, and we was in that pool, and trust me, Deanna's nothing. But when the power of God came on me, I said, God, look at what you did. Look at what you did. And that's what he says. I'm looking in the earth. I'm looking. Who want to do my will? He said, because I'm going to bless you. I'm going to anoint you. I'm going to appoint you. I'm going to hold you up. Hallelujah. He said, just, just, just be strong. He said, just, just be strong. That's commandment. Hallelujah. And walk in love. At the end of foundation, I don't care what you're calling. I don't care if you got a mega church or whatever. If you walk not in love, you are not of God. Hallelujah. That's why I tell you my foundation is love. But don't get it twisted. I will tell you the truth. Because that's what we're not doing. We're not telling people the truth. There's a lot of shoo shooing behind people back and there's a lot of plotting and planning. But you're supposed to tell. God says go to your brother. Go to your sister. Quit all that mess in this. What am I saying? Y'all too messy, man. Y'all messy. Y'all messy. Y'all messy. Just, just messy. It's supposed to be a message, not messy. We're supposed to love people back to life. If you're not going to help them, don't hurt them. Because God is going to get you point blank in the story. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. And, and we're supposed to be different. You ain't so, oh, I got to go here. Too many Christians fornicating. You're freaking. Too many of y'all lying. Too many of y'all doing stuff for money. 
being with people you ain't supposed to be with because you, 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 you a facade. It's all a lie. You'd rather live a lie than be who God called you to be. Mm -hmm. I said it. Well, guess what? I, I can't do it. Because when you really become one with God, you got to walk his way. You got to talk his way. You got to do it his way. Or he'll shut you down. And you won't be a known anymore. Oh, hallelujah. Y'all have seen it. Y'all have seen when God move his glory and move his anointing from somebody. Then they be trying to do stuff to concoct to get it back. Yeah, I say what I say. Y'all have seen them. And that's a sad sight. You don't want to lose the favor of God, the anointing of God. You don't want to do that. Praise God. Hallelujah. So I pray that you have been encouraged. I'm telling you, I feel I feel something busting this year to the east, the west, the north, and the south. The remnant is rising. The remnant is rising. The remnant is rising, said the Lord. Hallelujah. And you can't stop us. You can't block us. You can't hinder us, said the Lord. Because we're going to run through you. Mm -hmm. That's right. I'm telling you. Because God say, <laughs> this is it. He said, my church came in power, and we leaving in power. Hallelujah. So God bless you. God keep you. This is Apostle Deanna Dixon. Y'all know what time it is. Roll our soldiers, for that is who we are. Walk like it. Talk like it. Act like it. God bless.